Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you concepts which are related to the wind load analysis. So this is also one of the most important topic we need to consider the wind load for designing of any kind of the building. Basically, wind load is calculated by using IS 875-1987 code. So this is the code book we need to consider before wind load analysis of any structure. The value of the reinforcement values for the respected beam section as well as column section as well as slab section. This is also depends upon your wind load calculations. Generally, buildings are divided into three types. One is lower buildings second one is medium rise buildings a uh, third one is uh, high rise buildings so if your stories are in between first story to sixth story we need to consider it as a low rise building so if your stories are in between seventh story to twelfth story just we need to consider it as a medium rise building so if you are greater than your twelve stories nothing but thirteen story or greater than thirteen story it will be comes under your high rise buildings the wind load will be higher in case of high rise buildings as compared to your medium rise buildings and low rise buildings the wind load is higher for the medium rise buildings as compared to low rise buildings. The value of wind pressure for low rise buildings will be less than medium rise buildings and it will be less than your high rise buildings. As per IS 875 code, we need to calculate the wind pressure initially. It will be in Newton per mm square. Just we need to consider the formula. I will show you this respected formula here. Please follow, the, follow that formula. So Pz equals to 0.6 times of Vz square where Pz is the wind pressure. Vz is the design wind speed we need to consider. So Pz equals to 0.6 times of Vz square. So again we have one more formula which is useful for calculating the design wind speed Vz. Vz equals to Vb multiplied by your K1, K2, K3 as well as your K4 where Vz is the design wind speed and Vb is the basic wind speed. K1 is the risk coefficient factor. Second one is K2 which is terrain coefficient factor. So K3 is the topographic coefficient factor and K4 is the importance factor. So we need to consider these four factors before calculating your design wind speed. Vb is the basic wind speed we need to consider the value of basic wind speed depending upon your city so as per is 875 code it was provided basic wind speed for different types of main cities in india so it was there in appendix of 875 code so now i will explain you what are the different types of cities are there and what is the basic wind speed we need to consider as per is 875 code so this is my is 875 code so this is the appendix A which is showing basic wind speed at 10 meter height for some important cities and towns. So this is the city name and this is the basic wind speed. So it will be consisting of a city and basic wind speed. It will be consisting of Agra, Ahmedabad as well as Bangalore, Delhi, Kolkata, Hyderabad as well as different types of city which is related to Indian cities only. From this respected uh, appendix A we need to consider the basic wind speed. So this is the values we need to pick from the IS code. Now K1 is the risk coefficient factor. We need to consider this respected uh, value from the respected table which is provided in IS 875 code. Now I will explain you uh, what is the value of risk coefficient factor we need to consider for designing of building. So go to this IS code. So this is the table one risk coefficient factor for different class of structures in different wind speed. So this is the table. So it will be consisting of class of structure mean probable design life of the structure in years k1 factor for basic wind speed in meter per second the basic wind speed for the different types of cities were divided into this respected values which is of 33 39 44 47 50 55 so all general building structures we need to consider it as a 50 years for the respected life so it will be consisting of one factor for the respected coefficient k1 risk coefficient factor for all cities the second one is temporary shed structures such as those uh, used during construction operations for example farm work and falls work and structure during construction stages and boundary walls. So we need to consider its life as 5 years. We need to take the risk coefficient factor K1 as 0.8 to 0.76, 0 0.73, 0 0.75, 0 0.7, 0 0.61 for the different types of wind speed here. So third one is building and structures presenting a low degree of hazard life uh, and property in the event of failure um, event of failure such as isolated towers in the wooded areas farm buildings other than the residential buildings etc so this is will be comes under your design life of 25 years we need to take the risk coefficient factor k1 as 0 0.94 0 0.92 0 0.91 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.89 for the respected wind speed of these respected values 
Fourth one is important buildings and structures such as hospitals, commercial buildings, towers and uh, uh, power plant structures. So we need to consider this respected years as 100 years. So it will be consisting of 1.05, 1.06, 1.07, 1.07, 1.08, 1.08 1 for the respected risk coefficient factor value for the different types of cities. So this is the values which are related to your risk coefficient factor we need to consider as per the building class is considered. Now K2 is the terrain coefficient factor we need to consider before analysis of wind load. So this is also consisting of a table which is showing in IS-875. As per IS-875 code, uh, the terrain category was divided into four types. I was already explained that respected terrain category in my previous uh, question and answer episode. Please follow that respected question and answer episode for uh, terrain category explanation. So it was basically it was divided into four types terrain category 1, terrain category 2, terrain category 3, terrain category 4. So it is not Nothing but the height of the obstacle or hill region around our surroundings for the respected building construction. So this is my terrain coefficient factor. Now I will explain you what are the factors we need to consider before analysis of wind load for the terrain coefficient table. So this is the table which is showing for the respected terrain coefficient factor K2. So it will be consisting of height to terrain category as well as terrain height and multiplier factor K2. So I was already explained categories for this respected terrain. We need to consider four terrain categories for the respected height of 10 meter, 15 meter, 20 meter, 30 meter, 50 meter, so and so on, 500 up to 500 meters. So it will be consisting of this respected uh, K2 factor. So as per the height of the building, we need to consider this respected terrain coefficient factors. So it was given one note here for intermediate values for height of Z and terrain category use linear interpolation. So we can use the interpolation for this respected intermediate values for the respected building. So for example, let us consider we are constructing Z plus 5 story building. Nothing but your uh, height of the building is 6 multiplied by 3 which will give you 18 meter. But in this table it was given only the terrain coefficient factor for the respected 10 meter and 15 meter 20 meter. So we need to consider this respected 15 value and 20 value depending upon those four values we can calculate the terrain coefficient factor for the respected 18 meter as per the interpolation. So this was given in note as per IS 875 code. K3 is the value of topography coefficient factor. Generally, we need to consider topography for the respected area. Generally, this factor will be considered as 1 for the respected building. Now, K4 is the importance factor. We need to consider this respected factor also for uh, wind load calculations. Generally, we will consider one value for all general buildings, but we need to consider different values for uh, different buildings. Structure of poster cyclone importance factor equals to 1.3 as per IS 875 code. For industrial structure, it will be equals to 1.5 importance factor for the respected uh, building structures. Other than this, we need to consider all general buildings will be equals to one value. And for importance building, we need to consider this respected importance factor as 1.5 as per our assumption. So this is the values we need to take from the IS 875 code. We need to consider this respected values of K1, K2, K3, K4 values. So with the help of this respected K1, K2, K3, K4 values, and basic wind speed so we can calculate the design wind speed vz which is equals to your vb multiplied by k1 k2 k3 k4 so it will give the value of vz nothing but your design wind speed so with the help of this respected design wind speed value we can easily calculate wind pressure which is equals to uh, 0 0.6 times of vz square if possible, I will explain you how to calculate this respected uh, wind intensity with the calculations in my upcoming video. So this is my uh, wind load concept which is uh, related to IS 875-1897 code. Thank you.